Hey everybody, my name is Tim and this is my lovely wife, Heather. Welcome to our first episode of Cocktail or Neat. It's going to be a series of episodes where I bring forth one of my bottles of bourbon from the uh, bourbon back there and I pour it for my wife to see if she thinks it should be drank in a cocktail or neat. No bourbons off the table, anything back there is fair game and yeah. All right. I'm excited to give this a try. I am by no means a bourbon expert, uh, but I do like a good cocktail and I've been drinking quite a bit of wine and discovering all the different flavors and tastes of wine. So after hearing Tim talk about all the tasty notes he gets from bourbon, I do feel like there's some similarities. So uh, kind of willing to dive in and give this a try since I know that it's important to him. And seeing as he's bought this many bottles of bourbon, there's got to be some good ones back there. So, uh, yeah, I can learn to like bourbon and see, yeah, if it should be drank neat or in a cocktail. Yep. No pressure. <laughs> so tonight's bottle uh, we have is from Driftless Glen, and it is their rye bourbon. So if you've never heard of Driftless Glen before, they're a newer craft distillery out of Baraboo, Wisconsin. They've been getting a name for themselves. They even uh, have a name for themselves down here in Kentucky. They're getting really popular. A lot of people are really starting to look for them. Uh, they're still young, so you're looking about five years or so for their product. They're slowly getting up there. Uh, they do some really good bourbons, and they do some really good rise. So we're going to see what Heather thinks about their product. Well, there's uh, quite a bite on it. <clears throat> Whew. Get a nice uh, whiff of alcohol yeah, right you... off the bat. Definitely get that that alcohol, some oak on the nose, uh, but there's there's a lot of alcohol there. It's uh very spicy, very peppery. What do we call it? That Kentucky hug kind of warms your whole throat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're getting the Kentucky hug hug much more in the throat and not down in the uh, chest mm -hmm. area. Yeah, but it's not bad. Like each sip kind of calms down a little bit as my taste buds warm up to it. Yes. So this is a barrel proof bourbon. So it is actually 118 proof and it is 55 months old. So like I said, a little bit on the younger side, uh, just because that's what their product is right now. Um, but it's one of those, uh, like several craft distilleries that I think you can start to tell that there's promise here. Uh, you're getting those sweet notes. You're getting some good stuff yeah. there. I am and... starting to get more of that, the caramel sweetness. Mm -hmm. And that, so in the future, I think it's going to just keep getting better and better with stuff. Probably. Is it like wine where it's going to get a little better with age? <laughs> so depending, yeah, depending on the people, there's those crazy bourbon hunters that think like, oh, if it's 23 years old it's good there's a certain name brand out there 23 years people go crazy for uh, but age isn't everything so okay. you, you can okay. find some good stuff younger well kind of feel like there's not a lot of complexity i really am just mostly getting that peppery flavor and you know just that hint of sweetness so that i know i'm drinking a bourbon but my suggestion is to have this in a cocktail. I don't think I could sit here and keep sipping this much more. I think I'd want it mixed in with a cocktail. I could see that. So you got you got a lot going on. You got, especially on the end, you got a lot of that spice. Yeah. So being a rye bourbon, this would be really good in, say, uh, a Kentucky Mule or mm -hmm. in Old Fashioned would be a great choice. So that, that sweetness kind of mellows out that spice. Yeah. Which we know you like. Yes. Yeah. And I could see with the Kentucky Mule, you know, that, that ginger beer kind of mellowing out all the pepper. That'd be good. Yeah. Okay. Well, you'll have to make one for me. All right. I'll get on that. So with that, thanks for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you next week. We're going to be doing these about once a week as long as my bourbon budget uh, keeps holding out and I stay within that mm -hmm. because a happy wife is a happy life. And yeah, so I'm going to go make a cocktail. So cheers. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next week.